Hi, this is a brief tutorial about using ACS style to create references for your papers and presentations. So to start, I'll just mention that the ACS style guide is linked from the chemistry subject guide. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's citing and writing presentations. And under there is the style guide, ACS style guide. We have it both in print in our reference collection, and it's also available as an ebook. And there's actually a link just to the references chapter. So the ebook has a lot of great information. If we go there on writing style and use word usage, um, copyright, grammar, punctuation, and styling, how to format numbers, mathematics, and units of measure, all of that's uh, detailed in the ACS style guide. So if you have questions about that, you can look it up there. And then the reference section is very helpful because it provides kind of an overview of how to create both the in-text part of your references. So when you're writing in the paper itself, how do you cite in text? And how do you create the actual references that come at the end of your paper? Okay, and so then there's a, an example list on page 292 and 293 of uh, references. So I'm going to show you an example. Um, we'll look at this particular journal article. Um, it includes Mar Dr. Maria Peralta's work along with her colleagues, and it's in the journal Biophysical Journal. So if I go over to my Word document, um, here's that example reference that is included in the style guide, ACS style guide. And I've pulled out all the information I need from the uh, database for this particular database record for this particular article or the article itself here so all the information you need to make a correct accurate citation should be either on the full text item itself or in the database record or both so I pulled that out all there and here it is and we're just gonna go through and make this reference so the first thing is to include the authors so you're going to put last name first, and then their initial, followed by a semicolon. And we'll do this for all of them. OK, so there are all the authors listed, last name first. Now we go on to the article title. And I will mention that ACS style permits you to either include an article title or to not include one. So just the author, journal, year of publication, volume and issue number, and page numbers is fine too. Personally, I think it's more helpful to the reader to have the article title there, but I'll leave it up to you. Okay, so then next thing we need is the journal title. And ACS does something interesting here. They actually have you abbreviate the journal title. So instead of putting biophysical journal, you're supposed to use an abbreviation of this. So how are you supposed to know what abbreviation to use? So you can actually, there's a tool that ACS style uses called the Chemical Abstract Source Index uh, tool so you can link it's linked from the subject guide click on it all you need to do is drop that full title into there and search and there's the full title and then there's the abbreviated title so just copy that and put it back there and we will be italicizing the title as well so I'll do that and then followed by the volume number <coughs> or excuse me the year of publication and I didn't include that so let's take a look
2017. So we'll put that in our reference. And according to ACS style, this would be in bold and then a comma. So there's the year of publication. Now we come to the volume and issue number. So this is listed on page 296 of the ACS style guide. And so you're going to put the volume number in italics and then the issue number in parentheses and then a comma. And then finally a comma and then the page number range. So here's the complete reference. One more thing you can do uh, is create a hanging indent so that the references read are easier to read in a list. And now I have the reference, I can create an in-text citation as well. So here's my complete reference. And now if I want to cite uh, something in text, say an image in my presentation or in um, my research paper, you can see that f uh, the guidance for the ACS style says that if it's two authors, you can include both names. If it's more than two authors, just the first author at all. And then, for example, the year of publication in parentheses. So here's one example of how you might s reference this particular image in your presentation or research paper. I hope that's helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact myself. Thanks.